for uh, action on a proposed height variance for a fence at 2 Carolyn Way, a storage shed within the front yard setback at 2 Carolyn Way, and the approval of the minutes of November. Our Oh, and, and a setback for 10 Taylor Street. Is Stacy Byford here? Come up to the table, please. Last time we sent you away and said come back with more, mm -hmm. and you're here. Here. <laughs> Do you want to make a presentation? Well, I made copies of this. I redid. I think the problem that we had last time was that the drawing was or insufficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think more in. I think more incomplete than inaccurate. So. Okay. Thank you. I did my best to improve on that. And why didn't we get these prior to the meeting? Um, I didn't know that I was supposed to supply them. Prior to, I didn't even really know for sure until today that, that I was on the agenda for today and get notice of anything. Um, Stacy, do you have one? Oh, yeah. 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 Are the people who might be affected of the, about uh, by this aware that it's on the agenda tonight? There was no agenda on the web. Okay. And I am concerned that anyone who might be affected by this would be unaware that we were dealing with this matter tonight. Okay. Well, did so those people you, get you letters? propose that we table this? Um. My understanding was tonight wasn't supposed to be like the public hearing. We were going to redo uh, what we did last time, which was just a meeting here for you all to decide whether it could go to a public meeting. I, I don't know that that's something that we, we do. I mean, this is, I mean, we don't do trial runs, so. It seems to me that if we're going to be discussing this, people who are affected by it need to be aware that we're doing that. So I guess I would propose we table it. Okay. I don't mean to be difficult with you, but we have to be fair. Uh, let me ask this question before we take any action okay. on this. Did you notify your neighbors that you were applying for this variant? In writing. No, my understanding was the way Holly Esposito explained it to me was that there would be an initial meeting where you all would decide if you would would even consider giving me the variance. And if the answer was no, you wouldn't consider giving me the variance. There would be no need to have my neighbors come okay. to a meeting. So that's the meeting we had last time. And because the drawing that I had was insufficient, you wanted to do over that meeting and ask me to come back with a more complete drawing. All right. No one ever told me anything about notifying neighbors because I thought that was the next step in the process. Well, I'm sorry, you really didn't understand the process because at this point, uh, the only thing we can do is, is to table this. Yeah, I, I think that is the only thing we can do. Which means you'll be coming back again next month. Okay. So, Katie, you, you move to table? I move to table. Second. And it's been moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed like sign? Table. I, okay. I just, I just have a question before you go. How do you have a carport in the back of the house? It's not the back, it's the side. Can, can I just add something also? Is, is um, when I was going over this application with the building department, I was told that's why Rich is here. Uh, he's here to give explanation about the shed and so he took time out of his day to come and talk about that um, and him and Stacy have been talking and so and I confirmed with the, the clerks and Polly that this was going to be a preliminary review of the application which is how um, I think everything goes which is by the Green Acres properties here as well um, we just review the application to see if it is complete or not and then from there set a public hearing date yeah. That, that was my understanding too. So, uh, okay, so, so you have were, more information here. So, and actually, I was going to ask when the motion was made, 
Is there a, when do we, dis do we discuss it? Do we? If we table it, no. Oh. Oh. Can we ask questions? I suppose you can ask questions, yeah. So if we've already moved to table it, can we hold the table and have discussion? Or, I mean, I don't know the Roberts rules well enough to know. Um, it's been a long time since I looked at Roberts, too. Uh, but here, here is my fundamental concern. Yes. I think that anybody who is going to be affected by this yes. needs to be here and able to hear what is going on. It has nothing to do with the merits of it. It is simply right. procedural. People who are affected by an action need to have the ability to follow it through all of its steps. And the fact that there was no agenda up on the web I didn't know we were going to be doing this tonight. Well, you got an email, because I got an email, and the agenda was on it. I didn't no, get an email. I did not get an email with an agenda. I got an email with an agenda for the town, for the village board, but not our agenda. Well, I got it. I emailed I everybody it. on the board, plus everyone on the planning board, plus everybody on the village um, board. So but I, I am looking. Absolutely, everybody. I am looking at my email right now. If you want to give me your correct email address, maybe it's not updated in the address book we have. I have been consistently getting emails. She copied everybody. That's maybe why you were confused. Okay, what was the date it was sent out? I'm yesterday. Looking. So one thirteen. Was the, I'm pretty sure I was. It was yesterday. Yeah, okay. I was working yesterday. So 113, I received a decision for 129, 127 Main Street. On mm -hmm. um, 110, I received draft agenda mm -hmm. for um, 2014 0108. And when I opened that draft agenda, it is not for the ZBA, but view online, come on, but for the village board. Here, I even. It's draft minutes. New Paltz Village Board. Um, the one that I sent was at 11.27 a.m. yesterday, and it was sent to uh, K-A-T-Y-S. Carl, I, I ask the question, Well, maybe this will. Yeah, sure. You have not called for a hearing on this. No. This is just discussion. That's right. The notification that Katie is talking about is for the hearing. Okay. okay. And therefore, there is no hearing tonight. You're in a discussion mode. Right. Stacy may decide after what you've all said, she doesn't want to be bothered anymore. <laughs> so I think the solution might be is to withdraw the table, sit and discuss with Stacy and with our building inspector. Okay. Okay. And then call for a hearing the next meeting. I don't think we would have been happy about tabling it if we'd known that there was someone here with extra information for us. So we need that kind of information at the beginning, Carl. And, and I would, at this same moment, I would ask whether there, I know we've talked about this, and perhaps I've simply blanked on it, but we, exactly what are our procedures and what exactly is the timeline for applicants and who needs to be present and or who needs to be notified by when because I'm sitting here thinking to myself that I've screwed this up because I also assumed this was for discussion mm -hmm. by us um, and if I'm wrong, then I, I really need to get clear about this, certainly for future kinds of things. So um, so I guess maybe what I'm saying is what I would like, what I would like to see happen is for us to be able to have the discussion and at the same time for us to be to in whatever Robert's Rules fashion we need to do this, clarify what the procedures are for submitting an application to the, and the timeline for submitting an application to the ZBA, and who does what. 
We need it in writing, actually. It should be sort of a thing that's part of an orientation for new people. Yeah, I new secretaries and, right. and right. as well as right. board I'm members. I'm happy to draft up something. Well, there's no all this stuff in, in, the, um, in the booklet that we got. We didn't get a booklet. Are you talking about the zoning code? Yes. I have it here. Yeah. Well, that's well anyway, should, the zoning should code we just is a different rescind the motion? Animal. I move that we rescind the motion. Do we need a move or just yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. Is there a second to rescinding yeah, the motion? Yeah, I'm just second. Second. Yeah. Oh, I think. I seconded it. Yeah. Is there a discussion? About rescinding the motion. Yeah. Ready to vote. All in favor of rescinding the motion to table, say aye. Aye. Hold the like sign. Okay. Now here we are. Ready for discussion. Okay. So would it be appropriate to open the discussion by clarifying what the steps are that an applicant has to take? That way we're all clear about where we are in the scheme of things with this application as starters. Okay. With that, I don't know how people feel about that. So. No, I think I think that since these people are here, we should discuss this, and then if they want to stay here and and listen to this, then you know we have to have some what's the word I'm looking for? I appreciate input. We well, need I, some input, but we need to be respectful of, right. of people that are giving up their time. But okay. at the same time. Well, we can do that afterwards, and anybody that wants to stay can stay. But we might want the input of the building inspector. Well, he can stay if he wants to. I think we should do the discussion of this first, and then do that. I would like to hear from the building inspector to start off our discussion. Will the building inspector please come forward and give us whatever input you, you have? Hi, Rich Travis. I'm one of the building inspectors here in the village. And, um, you know, I apologize for any confusion that may have come from me. It was my understanding from the um, village clerk that I was just, you know, requested to be at this meeting for the purposes of some discussion about, you know, the variances that were. Um, or the variance that was needed and and some discussion about that and so that's why I'm I'm here um, as far as procedurally what I understood was what you know um, Holly had told the applicants and has been telling applicants you know, what the procedure would be excuse me for you know ZBA meetings first meeting would be discussion type of a thing and a public hearing would be set the next month. If that is indeed not the case, then I think we just all need to get on the same page with that. And then from our office, you know, since we deal with applicants, you know, before they get here, we'll make whatever changes we need to make going forward. Okay, what are we doing first? The, the, uh, <clears throat> the fence or the shed or both together? The fence is on the agenda. The first item is the agenda. Let's deal with that. <clears throat> um. Okay, here's the fence. So, uh, just to be clear, at this point we have, I have the, uh, the, the application that's dated 12, uh, 10, 28, 13. Yeah. No, I have. For, for the fence. 12, 12, this is for the, the fence. fence. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, this is the other. So, and it's 13, uh, 2, what is it, 2, 13, 13, 7? Is that the number at the top of the page? Or is it, I can't quite read it. Or is it ZB, no. Are you talking about the application yes. number? ZB 1307. Yeah. Seven. Okay, so this fence is between you and John and whatever her name is. Yes. I'm your neighbor over in the 
with the Japanese garden and the big brown house and the big addition and all that. Oh, so you know okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. John and Rita, yes. Yeah. And this map that you just gave us is the new map to supplement. Mm -hmm. So this map, what are we dating this map? Today's date? Yeah. Okay, so that's... 14. 14, 14. Um, why do you want an eight foot fence along that side? I need an eight foot fence along that side as opposed to a six foot fence, which is what I'd like to put across the, what I call the back of the property, I guess you all consider it the side of the property, because my property there slopes down oh. quite a lot, and I just built a stone patio, and they also have a stone patio in their backyard. And it's just completely visible in a six foot fence. I measured a six foot fence. We would still each be able to see, well, I would be able to see over there, over the fence into there. And do you want this patio. eight foot fence? You want it to be 25 feet long. Right. It doesn't need to be the full length of that side yeah, of the property, okay. just the length of the patio. And then you would drop down to a six foot fence? Or no fence at or all. No fence at all. Right. Okay, you want a six foot fence across the back of the property. Right. All the way across. Yes. Well, I guess you can have that anyway. Well, mm. no. <laughs> the zoning code is very specific. The side of the property where the carport is, mm -hmm. as defined by the zoning code, is the front yard. It's and the front yard, but it really isn't. But it really, right. <laughs> so what's happening is the front line of the building, because the code says from the front line of the building forward that that fence needs to be four feet. So that portion of the fence, which is actually going to be in the back rear of the house, but from that that corner of the house there, that, that northeastern corner of the house to towards the street, Henry W. Du Bois, mm -hmm. that would need a, a two foot variance for it in order to be a six foot fence because the code says it needs to be four feet from the front line of the building forward. You know, and this doesn't show us that request. Well, yes it does. Well, the Could you draw on mine the lines that indicate what you're talking about? Sure. So it's a six foot fence all the way across. Right? Right. Okay. Why did I hear a request for an eight foot fence a minute? You know, ago? where we live, I think fence. eight foot fences all around the whole house are very apropos because the deer can jump over a six foot fence and the deer devastate my very expensive garden. So I've had my say. Deer can do eight feet as well. And this might be considered a self-imposed hardship because the patio was constructed with not without an eight foot fence. Uh, does that explain it to you there where the two foot that two foot section and you kinda have to try to explain it in my letter of denial. Um, that I'm sure you all have a copy of? This, uh, this yeah. letter came to us after our meeting in December. Is, okay. that, cor is that correct? Yes. Yes, because okay. yeah, I wasn't aware that there was a, at that point, that there was a, an application mm -hmm. um, for the fence. So, mm -hmm. so that's why I did the, the denial letter up, okay. you know, at the request mm -hmm. of um, sure with you. the office. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Um, so you're saying that the only variance that's required is that portion of the fence here to here. Yes, would be a two foot variance for that portion of the fence here. from there to there, and then there would be another two foot variance on that um, on that southerly side. Um, oh my God! Where it, 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 the code says it has Which to be six south. feet. And it would have to be. Um, we need that in what We really need that. Years. Yeah, this is really hard to. Make I don't see that on this side. This side, right here. Look. Right here. Proposed 25 foot, 8 foot fence. 
right there. And then this is here. And this is the six foot fence. Mm -hmm. And the six Two foot, foot fence, fence there. And then from this there. line forward to here. Okay. The two feet variance there. there. So this whole back line would be six feet. Yeah, because but the you can only have, you issue can about a variance is here and here. Why well, here? So is so do I have it right? Is that the two foot variance? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, that's one of them. Yes, 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 this yes. This yes, 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 yes. see, this is a real weird setup because Western. they consider this the front of the house. Yes. Right. This is but the this east. is really the front of the house. And this portion okay. of the fence from yeah, here yeah. to here, this 25 feet, yeah. where it's proposed 8 foot, that would need a 2 foot variance also. Because the code says that that needs to be 6 feet. So this portion from here to here, a 25 foot portion of that needs a 2 foot variance. It's not clear. Yeah, right here. See, proposed 8 foot fence, 25 feet. 25 feet. And from the corner, 25, 15, so 25 feet this way. So So where is that here? Yeah, it's about where the pier is for the whole thing. Where the patio ends. Six feet. Where the patio ends. So Star six yep. feet. Starts patio is 25 feet long. Patio right here, right about here. Is allowed from here to here. In order for this whole thing to be six feet, you need a variance of two feet and a variance of two feet. Is that the all the is that all the entire ever? That's all we're talking about variance. Are for these the fence, two pieces? those two pieces, yeah, yes, fence. yes. And what yes. about for the side? Yes. Yeah, those, those, those portions of them, yes. Okay, so four feet. We're looking at a, mm -hmm. at a no. twenty-five no. feet plus four feet. Where's the twenty-five feet? I have a I have a question because I think we might be talking about two variances right now. Yeah, I think we are talking about three instead of two variances. Yeah, three. Yeah. Well, I'm not even talking about the the shed right now, but okay. Well, yeah, three to get to one for each side. Is this the only eight feet, eight foot section? Yeah. Eight foot. I'll do it in a second. Yeah, I have that listed on the denial as two separate okay. variances. As yeah. two variances. Yes. So I just want to make. Is there a fence along And that actually, here. I feel strongly about it because it Stacey, makes it hard for people to get back the record. Yeah. Okay. So this is last fence. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you have a copy of my denial letter. Um, and I would, I I'd just like I to. Okay. I, I didn't realize so, this was on the Ellen, agenda. Let me. I also just want to make sure it's clear that everyone um, understands we're talking probably about three variances. When considering the fence, right. the first one would be from Henry Dubois to the beginning of the house, would be a height variance, it's, or yeah, the six foot height variance, from the edge of the stone patio to the other side of the property line would be a second one, and then the 25 feet of eight foot fence would be a third one. No, it'd be two. It would be two. two. The, the eight foot section is just this portion. Yeah. Yeah. And that would. This this can be six feet here. It's just from this corner to the to the front in a front yard. It can only but be from four. here to here. It can be six. Yes. Okay. So it's just there would be this okay. variance here, one here, <laughs> and this one here. Thank That's you. So wait, are you for saying for that no var no, no variance is required for this line here along Henry Du Bois? That no. fence that's on Henry Du Bois has been existing and has a CO, an existing CO. So it's and not that, in play. It, not However, not at this point. I wasn't going to revisit something matter. that already has a CO on it. So yeah. we're talking about one piece, two pieces, three pieces. Yeah, you're talking about a, a fence that's going to be built. It's not there. That'll have, um, you know, two height two variances. Variances. The, the, the one the one up front. That's right. one variance, and then the other one over there. Oh, the, the twenty five foot. The, the, eight, the, foot the fence. eight foot fence. Oh, because, because that portion is going to be six foot, which the code allows. This portion here is six foot. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yes. this is not just adding two feet. Here there is six feet. That's allowed. Right. But yep. what about from here to here? No, that's, that's a variance. variance. We're doing a variance here. We're doing a variance here, and we're doing a variance. There. And how, how? Oh, David. Will actually, I just want to make sure that because Richard said that the that the fence from the stone patio to the beginning of the eight foot fence, you do not need a variance. Is what oh, he was no, just saying. It needs yeah. a variance, and it's that's why I think we need to all make sure. The house. That right. There's no house there, feet. so you need a variance. Yeah. And I think that's why we have it's to make just, sure that we're on the same that, page. Six. That easternly, that easternly side of the fence, the this east one? side, right, right along the patio. The right. fence is six feet there, right, all the way from the property, the the. 
northeastern property point to the southeastern property point. That only needs one variance and it's the front portion that needs a two foot variance. The eight foot portion is just along the southerly line. Okay, so why yeah. does this not need a variance? Because six foot fence is what the code designates that it's to be six feet. Even though it's not along the house? Yeah, well that's the, the height requirement in the code for fences. Oh, yeah. It only comes into play in the front, in front yard. And I can tell you in theory why, why, this, why this four foot is, is in there in theory because in a front yard, yeah, well, why the code says that it needs to be four feet in theory when they write these is because front yard you may be exiting there onto a roadway and it's for visual. Right. I can say that that doesn't take place here because the driveway for this house is on the westernly side. Right. And so that in theory, for what, why, that, why that is there was for a sight thing, right. it doesn't come into play here. It doesn't cause any type of danger, or any right. type of sight um, blocking for anyone else that's driving either. So it, it, that, that, that in theory is why that, that is, um, you know, it's my understanding. That's why I've seen these yeah. in, in other jurisdictions and why the code usually says that, 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 that height sense. requirement is there. And in this instance, there's no one, um, not even a neighboring property that exits on this portion of that property. Um, Ms. Byford uh, exits here on the westernly portion and then Caroline Way um, onto Henry Du Bois. Okay, so just to be clear, I'm Thank saying you. it back to you, sure. just to be clear. There is no requirement for a variance. This fence can stay as there. is because it's already there and it was approved. Yes, it has a current CO, yes. Okay. Yes. The two pieces we're talking about are one two-foot section of six-foot fence that is only in play because it goes up to Henry Du Bois. Well, it's a two-foot variance for the height right. of the fence. Right. I'm not sure the, the full length of that. Um, I'm talking about over here. Yeah, that, that portion from the front of the house to the corner. Right. Uh, um, so we'll say I two mean, feet plus or minus. Yeah. But the point of it is the reason that it would require a variance is because it abuts, it, it joins up to Henry Du Bois. Well, because the code says in a front yard, right. and that is considered the front yard by definition in okay. the zoning code, okay. and that is because when you have the, the zoning code is very specific. If you have a corner lot, right. the wider of the two streets, Carolyn yes. Drive is a private road, right. Henry Du Bois is a wider street. Right. That, the code says then that that is considered the front yard. Right. And then front yard requirements apply there. Okay. And so that would be that portion of it that would need the two foot variance for, you know, from that corner to the corner of that front line of the house run, run over. And this section here. Yeah. Stacy could have a fence of what height? Six if, feet. Six feet. So yes. what she's asking for is, is an eight foot fence. Two feet in, in a height yes. here. Yes. And two feet in height here. Yes. So effectively two two foot sections of fence. Yes. Each of them require requesting a two foot height Very. variance. Yes, and that's how I divide I that's how I, I But we I, don't have total length. I had um you know, divide them up as two separate right. variances. Okay. Now, how will this be achieved? Are you going to rip down all the fences and put up new fencing? There's no fence there currently. Okay. okay. So there is nothing? No, there's nothing. Nothing at all? There's only no. this? There's woods. Right. Yes, Just there's this. no fence there now. So no. this is all brand new? Yes. Right. Okay. Stacy, there are five criteria <laughs> that we consider. You don't have to meet all five criteria, but these are things that we are to consider when granting a variance. And if you could address each of these. Okay. Will an undesirable change be produced in the character of the neighborhood, or will it be detrimental to nearby properties? I would say no and no. And I say no and no only because I can't imagine, I can't conceive of any reason why the answer would be yes. Tell no, me about I, this. I, I can agree with her. I know what the, I know. I know the place. Okay, but what I don't, the applicant. and so I would like to know about the house that is just to the south of you. How are they going to, how is an eight foot fence going to affect them? Um, I think it'll affect them just in the sense that from their patio they won't be able to see 
on my patio. Okay, would it affect the sun that no, they receive? No, no. I'm just asking. You know, I mean, these are the things we're question. supposed to be considering. Okay, mm -hmm. so now the next question is whether the benefit you are seeking from these fences could be achieved by a method that would not require a variance. Um, what have you considered doing that wouldn't require a variance? The only thing that I'm aware of that would allow me to have the same height of the fence would be to do excavation and to fill the south southern part of the yard there so that when the fence went on the land, the land would be higher. Um, it's a very um, wooded area there. There's a lot of trees there and just, you know, the expense to excavate that area, 25 square foot area, I think would be, I, for me, it would be prohibitively expensive. Okay, have you considered some kind of landscaping? Um, I did consider in that particular area where I'm asking for the eight foot fence, yeah. I did consider planting some, um, what are they called, mature, Arbor. fully mature arborvitaes. Um, I don't know whether it was the people that owned this house before me mm -hmm. or if it was John and Rita who live next door. Someone planted arborvitaes all along the length there, and they all died. And it was suggested to me it's because the soil there is okay. not um, it's shallow. There's okay. a lot of shale or something, and also the cost of those trees would be, I think, very expensive. Plus the deer meat. Okay, now, I'm just going through the questions. Well, I'm, I'm telling you because I know. Okay, now another thing is whether the requested variance is substantial. And being simple-minded, I really appreciate it when other people do little calculations and say, I'm requesting that this variance is, you know, 25% of what was there. If you can look at it in some way, help us understand how substantial the variance is that you're requesting. Um, uh, are we talking about the eight-foot section again? Yeah. The eight-foot section of fence? Well, no, I'm, I, actually, I would, one of the things I will ask you is I think this should be two variances, two applications. I don't want you to have to pay more money for it. But I think from a record-keeping perspective, a variance gets granted. And when they put two variances onto one application, when people try and backtrack later on to find out why this was done, it's hard to find stuff in the paperwork. So if there are two variances for two different pieces of fence, I mean, you're asking for two different variances here. Mm -hmm. And if it was just split on one sheet, we don't have to charge any. Well, I could take responsibility for that. I just looked at it as one application. And usually when I look at an application for a, even an accessory building, say a garage that needs a height variance, maybe even another variance, I'll list those variances that, you know, whether there's one, two, three, or four, we'll all go with that same building permit application. I kind of looked at this the same way because it was an application for a fence. And with two, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I just, I think we'd have to, um, which I could do, you know, we could do that. I'd have to, I, it would have to be something that I, we did in our office because I, I could take responsibility for the fact that it was on one variance application just because it, the fence came through as, you know, just an application for a fence. I don't necessarily okay. divide that up. Let me that. just play devil's advocate with this for a minute without tipping my hand. I'm sorry. But let's say that we felt comfortable granting one of the var one, one fence, but not the other. And that the only way we could vote yes or no would be to do it as a package. No. I don't know that you could no, do that. We can, we can vote one and not the other just because it's on one application. The reason that you know, I. This is just more paperwork. The reason uh, I'm trying to agree critical. with you about the two different variances is because, in the one instance, we're going to a six foot fence, which is pretty ordinary. Yeah. In the other instance, we're going to an eight foot fence. And I think that the community, really, dear aside, need to be. Um, able to act more conservatively vis-a-vis -vis an eight-foot fence. An eight-foot fence is a high fence. Mm -hmm. So 
I can certainly understand if these were two separate variances, not because it's two different fences, it, you know, so much. I mean, but because we're talking about two different um, uh, what's it, precedents, approving a six-foot yeah. fence and approving an eight-foot fence. I guess uh, from my perspective, um, I would have to have some type of discussion then with, you know, the, the board prior to making, you know, a determination as to what you would feel would, would, would go, you know, govern two separate permit applications as opposed to just the one. So, um, I mean, it's something we yeah. certainly could do out of our office. Um, I don't know where that maybe ends though, you know, with, uh, we could talk about it and do some, some, you know, it was my thinking, you know, like I said, that it was an application for a fence and it was just, because of the nature of the way it was, it was two separate variances. Like I said, even if it was a, a garage, it was getting a height variance and then a setback variance. We already would, we already approved an eight foot fence for the people in that same neighborhood. In ten. Number yeah, ten. Yeah. We could do it. I'd have to do it with some kind of discussion with the board prior to you know. Otherwise, you know, out of my office, I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to make a decision to take an application. And look at it, and then if you you know as a board you're not comfortable with it just being on one application, so um, I guess you know if if you wanted to go that route, there'd have to be some kind of communication prior to me giving a denial and and to to you know be able to direct the applicants to separate these in two separate applications. Okay, which I'm not saying to suggest Rich that you've got a problem doing two application because. She should not have to pay twice. No, I don't want her to okay. have to pay right. twice. And that becomes the complicated part for the office downstairs. Okay. If she is applying for a fence, she is applying for a fence. It's your job, it seems to me, in your motion to approve or disapprove, to have two or three separate motions, depending upon if you believe it's a segmented variance being requested. Right. So the, the onus is on this board not to make one motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sally. You're welcome. Did you want to finish? Yeah, I do want and to finish. And then I have some questions. OK, just to get these all out there, mm -hmm. um, this is a slightly different thing, whether the proposed variance will have an adverse effect or impact on the physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood? And I think you've kind of answered I'd say that. no. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is whether an alleged difficulty is self-created. And I mean, it's you, you don't get knocked out because you have yes on one of them. OK. I, I mean, I don't see how it's self-created other than the fact that um, I did build a stone patio. I purposely built a patio instead of seeking a permit to build a deck because I wanted to try and be as low as possible. But no matter how low, I mean, even if I didn't have a patio, just standing out in the backyard, I hope to put a hot tub out there at some point. It's just, it's so open and the, my neighbor's patio is like right there and they spend a lot of time on their patio. So even to be in the backyard, whether there's a patio or not, it's the only place on my entire property that my kids can play and I just would like them to have some privacy. Hmm. Okay. Let, me, let me ask the building inspector something. If the, if the fence were put at the edge of the patio, would she need a variance if it was going to be a six foot fence? Not for a six foot fence, but um, the, the only issue there, I think, would be that it, it wouldn't be able to be right at the edge of the patio because there's some built in steps. Wow. Well, and, and, and but, I mean, but, but, but I, no, I know what you're saying right here. Not I mean, pro, not at the property line. Well, I, I, I don't. I, I guess I don't know how much closer because that property does. I was out there taking several measurements, not only for this but really for the shed, and that property does kind of drop off, you know, pretty good, right? I know it drops right, off. Yeah. Um, so, and with the trees and stuff there, I mean, maybe a six foot fence. I'm not sure where it would end up, and that might um, take away from, you know, um, the kids having an area. Which was it was that one of the things I think so. Well, also I don't, I don't, one of the things that we discussed when we talked yes. about the Caroline Way is you plant a fence. It's sort of 
uh, it's not really the property line, but it's sort of to be understood the property line, especially as time goes by. You don't want to cut your property line short for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So, but you really have to move, you really have to put a fence a foot, to eighteen two feet in from the property line, so that if you have to paint it or repair it or anything, you don't have to walk on somebody else's property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I I don't I don't I don't know. That's more probably a question for. Ms. Byford about the location of that and whether that would be a doable type of situation. Mm -hmm. uh, Question about how this will look. This will look like a straight line. It'll just be deeper in these areas. Um, how will how will this look? Well, this this isn't going to gonna be a fence. fence. This is going to remain open. This, this area. Is, this is going to remain open. I only want the fence right here, just to to you know protect oh. the. For my, that's why I wrote just 25 feet. This is 115 feet long. My property line. Okay. I now only want down to it. I only want privacy for the patio. So 25 feet mm -hmm. of eight foot fence here. Yes. And here it will be a brand new six, six foot. foot fence. Correct. And then you need to make it. Well, it'll still be six foot here, because except apparently this is only supposed to be four, so okay. it would be yeah. two feet taller, so okay. it would be the same height but as the rest gotcha. of the fence. People coming down to. Um, du Bois are not going to have their vision. You right. can't even see, you can't even no, see right. the yeah. problem. Right. No. right. Yeah, no. no, it's it's far enough off. Now my question is, if, if something like this were to go into the record with our decision, mm -hmm. would it be clear to anybody in the future what in the world went on here? I think, I think well, I think with, uh, it would have to go into the record with my narrative and my letter of denial because in my letter I tried to be very specific. Um, you know, a six foot high fence is proposed to be constructed from the front north mm -hmm. property line along the east property line to the rear. Mm -hmm. and, and so I think that that narrative would have to go with in this, there. This uh, would be enough? Okay. I would, you know, if, if the board doesn't feel like it's enough, um, you could advise. Well, you can see the, the difficulty to, we've been having grasping right, yeah. what is on paper. Would it, okay. Would it be a, yeah. Would it be possible to draw a different kind of line here? Like a color so coded that, or yeah, something, if you want. Or, wanted, or yeah. thicker. I mean, it doesn't. Sure. You know, I, I don't care about it being in color, but just something that made it clear that the fence would start here, the fence would end here. And I would like, you know, Dimensions. like the link. Yeah. Sure. And well, I can direct the applicant, or the board can direct the applicant to do that. And yeah. And then the same thing over here. And yeah, dimensions would be nice. And I assume that from here going south, there's a upward slope, right? No. No. It's no, it's completely it flat keeps going here. Down. It goes down it flat. It goes down. And it goes down a little more into that. I didn't really That's examine why that. That's their property is quite yeah, a bit yeah. lower than mine. I'm sorry. No, okay. okay. Their patio is lower than mine. That's the problem. Wait, wait. Why is that a problem? It's a problem because they can see from their patio onto my patio and vice more importantly, I can see from their patio from my patio onto their patio. Mhm. Mm ah. Okay. So they should like this. They should, I would think so, so unless they want to see, you know, my kids. Mm -hmm. No, no, if it were a question of light, that would you be know, my you only know, concern. The last, the last, they um, won't, the last eight foot fence that we had a problem with, Yeah. we talked about doing a six foot fence with an open top fence. Well, there, there is a solution to this problem where they can have the privacy, but the upper two feet can still be open. Okay. I mean, Same like trellising the, or whatever. Yeah, trellis or whatever, you know, I've, it's, in my, it's in my yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what we did for the other, for 10. Mm -hmm. And yes. I don't see any reason why we couldn't, you know, do the same thing for this. Okay. Would that be what I'm thinking to you? Um, I'm not sure I understand. Are, you're well, suggesting you, the fence stays you, six you, foot you, you, and then you attach well, something to no, the top no, of it? The whole thing goes all together. Oh. But the bottom part, the six feet which you're allowed, uh -huh. could be a solid fence of any choosing. Oh. Then in the design, the upper two feet would be a, an open, more open um, design, but it can be designed 
so that it's open, but you don't see through it from certain angles. Mm -hmm. okay? you, you could buy it that way. I mean, this yeah. doesn't yeah. have to be custom built. Yeah. There, yeah. This is, these are, there are a yeah. variety yeah. Yeah. of these. Like right. 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 yeah. Have you been looking at fences? No, not really. Okay. If she looks at the courtyard at the library, that that's is a solid yes. fence with an open top, right. which is what they're talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. Or you could come to my house and look in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually very, it, it's actually more attractive because it means you don't have this eight foot wall in your fence. Right. You have the effect of an eight foot wall. I guess the only not. question would be then I, I would have the fence that runs already um, pre existing along Henry Du Bois Road. No, 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 no. I'm talking and, about the eight foot No, fence. no, no. I know. I'm just saying it will be different then. You know, it's going yes, to be, one, it's gonna be bottom, one consistent the fence. Bottom the bottom would be the same. Yeah. Six feet on the bottom would right. be the same. And then this yeah. would just. I mean, Let's put it this way, up. if that was my only option, I would take it and run. Yeah. <laughs> if it meant no. that or nothing. Is on the lay it's of the land. Two feet more anyway. On the lay of the land, is this is the slope gonna mean that this fence is even with this fence approximately? No. Okay. No. It will it's be too now. It's gonna be considered no, it's gonna be lower because the property plummets down yeah. there. So the eighth okay. The eighth if fence the height is still gonna be lower than the I'm six standing foot. on your patio. And I'm looking at this fence, mm -hmm, the here corner and there, here, mm -hmm. right? Right. I'm seeing a fence that goes, and I'm making up numbers. Now. Okay. I'm seeing a fence that goes to six feet here. Yep. And then from where I'm standing, this isn't, in my eyes, an eight-foot fence. This is more like a five or six-foot fence because the, the land grass, slopes that's away. Right. You got so it. on the other side, for them, they will see an eight-foot fence. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Right. It's, yeah. It, it will be an eight. It would be an eight-foot fence. Right. So. Right. right. So the so yeah. the their, their opinion would matter. Okay. Okay, I'm done with my questions. What's your pleasure? Is it a well, if you, if, if, if you wanted if you want her to send, how, how does that work? She sends letters to the neighbors. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So, so if you want to send letters to the neighbor, huh? The, the planning de building department doesn't do that? No, they I do that. I, I generate you the list. You send That's what I thought. I send, I generate the list, and then I'll give, um, I'll give you the, all the thing addresses. I'll give you the public hearing notice. We'll put it in the paper. The works. Yeah. Yep. 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 And you'll send letters to the neighbors? I personally won't. No. Um, oh, who I, sends letters to the neighbors? Yeah. The you. applicant. Okay. Okay. So you know who your neighbors are. You probably don't have to send them. You could probably type them all. I just don't have many of my neighbors. Is it only the neighbors that are contingent, contingent to my property? It's just John. Contiguous John neighbors. And contiguous and neighbors? John, John, and right Rich, to John and Rich Steffens and um, um, Polly and yeah. mm -hmm. what's their name? We, what was the name of the people? Felice and Perry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a specified distance, you I think, in the, me. in the code. And, All right, um, I'll figure it out. Uh, we generate that list for him. I already know about it. And then there's also, you'll put up a sign that PDQ already has pre-made once you give them the notice. Oh, yeah. Now, isn't there another application? Are we just doing this one first? We yes, one for the shed. So, yeah. Now, yeah. so now we can make a mo I make a motion we table this till next meeting. Is there a no, second? No, 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 wait, is that what we do? No, we we'll make, make a motion to schedule a hearing. Schedule a public hearing. Public hearing. Yeah. Okay. It's a motion to schedule the hearing. Yeah. Okay. However. Is there a second to that? Yes. I second. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Let her do it. No, 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 you do it. <laughs> Ellen can do it. Go ahead, Ellen. I'm doing it. I did it. It's done. It's <laughs> <laughs> good discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those like sign? Okay. One down. <laughs> I, 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 as painful as this was, I think it was a useful, uh, I, I, it was very helpful. All right, let's get on to the shed now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what uh, I'm asking the building inspector, why um, why does she need a variance for the shed? Because it's on the front property line. Well, because it's in the front yard. Um, yeah. The accessory structures are not supposed right. to be in um, you know any further than the um, again the front line of the building, um, and so. Um, 
That, that's why, because essentially <coughs> the code defines that as the front yard. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, this is the front of the house along Caroline Way where the front door is. Um, because um, it's, it abuts on two streets here, the same front yard mm -hmm. requirements apply here also. Okay, so what but, is... Go ahead. I'm so is, is, is that the reason you need a variance because it's in the front yard? Yes. <laughs> it's closer. So how yeah. about setbacks from anything? Well, there is no, you know, that. that there is no setback yeah. in the front yard. Right. So like that's why I put that specifically in the letter to the ZBA to, you know, I, I, I mentioned that it's um, for this type of a structure that's 12 feet mm -hmm. rear and side, and that I said that you would possibly, hopefully, stipulate. I asked you to stipulate. If, um, that that requirement there, if you wanted to, um, it was also my understanding. You could correct me if <laughs> wrong. That um, you also wanted me to investigate. This is what I was told by the clerk. Investigate the possibility of, you know, placement of the shed. Um, you know, where there wouldn't be variances required, but because of the size of the shed. Um, and um, its position anywhere else, there'd be a variance required a a anyway. anyway. Right. Um, what is the size of the ship? It's, it's on eight, there. It says 11, eight and a half 11 by 11. By eight and a half. Excuse me, please. What did you say? Eight and a half like by 11. It's not on there. It's not on New York City. Mud part. <laughs> seven foot height. Yes. Okay. So that, yeah, that, 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 I mean, I went out there and, you know, um, from my perspective for practical purposes and, you know, what this is being used for, I mean, the contractor had determined, you know, that that was just the place with, with the applicant. Um, the contractor um, initially, because of a, a statement in the state building code, um, it was his understanding a, a shed under 144 square foot is exempt from a building permit. It is as far as state code applies. He, and that's where he was going from. He was going from that perspective. He wasn't going from a perspective of, I'm just going to do something without notifying the building department. And so, um, you know, and, and that's why I'm here. But any, anywhere else that shed goes on the property, it, it, it's going to need a variance also because it's just not the space. All right. I think because of the unusual situation of where this house is in, in relationship to Henry W. Du Bois, I can understand why we want to put the shed there. Okay. And I can understand why I really couldn't go anywhere else. So I would. Thank you. You first, please. When I went to the property, I found the shed quite obvious. But I don't live there. So in this particular instance, I would be really interested in knowing what the neighbors who do go up that road all the time feel about it. So I don't know whether anybody has commented or anything, because you were, as you were saying, of one of the five criteria. Yes. Right? Um, so. I think that would happen at a public comment se session. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was just wondering even whether it would be part, even if you did some like landscaping here to sort of camouflage the appearance of it. Mm -hmm. But I certainly recognize that there's not very many options for where you would put it. I mean, my thought about that is, <clears throat> I don't know if you remember, but I showed you pictures of it last time. I, were you here last yeah. time? I think so. So I built it to match the house exactly so mm -hmm. that it wouldn't stick out like a sore thumb. Um, this, just so you can see, uh, David, this is how much you can see it from the road. It's yeah, not really that's, any that's what I wanted to ask you. How, what's the, um, do you know the approximate elevation of the road to to this point, 
I mean, it goes up. Oh, it's lower. It the road is lower. Yeah. By what? Two feet? Three yeah. feet? Six feet? No, I wouldn't say six feet. I mean, you're asking, honestly, the wrong person about well, elevation. I mean, is, it, is it this much? Oh, gradually, I would say probably, yeah, yeah from the pavement, uh, no. the edge yeah. of the pavement, mm -hmm. and it's uh, 28 feet. Uh, no, sorry, it's 13 feet away from the pavement. Yeah. I mean, I drive by there every day, and it's, it's not something where I go, <laughs> I, no, well, you'll see it less when the fence is along the back, also. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not an eyesore. I, I mean, this is already here. Oh yeah, no, Caroline yes. Way. I have because no idea what it looks explained, like. My builder didn't know that the permit was. Yeah, that was a mistake. But the contractor, I, I I went out to the property on a complaint, spoke with the contractor. He had a misunderstanding of of that because in se and in several other jurisdictions I worked in. Um, Usually the town type jurisdictions, they they go with that state requirement. Under 144 square foot, they 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 kind of hands off here because it's a village. I think it's yeah. you know. And when I was in another village, same thing. They required permits for everything. But that was a what I what, from interviewing the contractor, I felt like it was an honest mistake the contractor made based on the fact that he thought under that 144 square foot that a permit wouldn't be required. What is it in the, in the village? Everything. And everything? Everything needs it. Every, every structure needs a, needs a permit, yes. That's the, that's the... The other thing, David, and I don't know if you know since you live near to me, but I'm the only house in that cluster of homes on Caroline Way that doesn't have a garage. I'm also the only one that has two little kids with bicycles and things right. like that. So. Um, as far as appearance, you know, the perceived appearance when my neighbors are coming in and out of Caroline Way, I would think they'd prefer to see a pretty shed that matches the house than to see my kids' stuff strewn all over the place. Now, I have two questions. Yes. A building permit is needed to put up this shed. Mm -hmm. Yes. The building permit was issued. No. no, it's no. been it's because the building the builder, permit was because the builder thought that 144 square feet you didn't need it. Right, he built the shed, and then um, I, I went out there based on the responsibility on the, the builder, the contractor. Well, to yes, know the rules. Yes. Okay. All right, and and the thing is, um, he should be made if, to if, if we don't give if, it. if we don't give the variance, then what you got to do? Tear the shed down. Well, essentially, that would be what would that would be the remedy. It would, you know, there, that well, would be. I, I don't, I don't think that would be. I don't think that would be. Fair. I mean, from a code perspective, from an enforcement perspective, that would that that is what would happen because it's just there's no place. And believe me, I spent you know more time than I usually do at the direction of the clerk from coming from the board, which I don't have a problem doing. Um, you know, um, out on the property. Um, taking measurements with the contractor, going back out myself, going over the code, um, and you can ask, you know, Miss Byford here that I spent a lot of time trying to investigate um, the placement of this shed and any other place on the property where it would, you know, we wouldn't have to be here for this, and it's just we would have to be here for a variance, no matter where it went on the property. Um, you know, and I've been out there from my perspective, not that it matters, I mean, I, uh, the enforcement officer, I enforce the code, but from my perspective, um, from a practical standpoint, even aesthetically, the standpoint, I, I mean, to me, um, you know, not that it matters, but if you, you know, if you want to hear that, um, where it is makes the most sense to me um, in several, you know, aspects. I had, well, I have two questions, but first, Looking toward the future, and this is for anyone who owns the property in the future, but be it Ms. Byford or anyone else, because the front of the house faces Henry Double uh, Henry Dubois. Is there any chance a driveway can ever be built from Henry Dubois to? No. No, and that's. No, it's too. It's too much of a. I mean, it cost a fortune, and it's all shale. It's a pit. It's a. It's a really steep pit. I, I, I know. I just. I need I need to ask in case anyone ever yes, brought that. Yes, no, that's a good point. Brought that in the future because then, mm -hmm. uh, it being the front of the house, if they ever had. No, they wouldn't have a driveway. There would be no reason to put a drive. I mean, it's really too short too. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a very good point. Too short, too steep. 
Okay. I, I just wanted to make sure because I'm trying to cover all bases, you know, as we as we go along. My second question was, is you know, going back to uh, what Katie had mentioned with trying to make sure that everything's taken into consideration. Is there any other method besides having a shed that you know you could think of where you could gather all this? And the only thing that I can well, honestly, no. I mean, what I was okay. going to say is I could keep all my kids' bikes and what not down in my basement and you know have them or me check it up every time they want to play with stuff but there's also a lawnmower and so I mean I don't know okay I can't think of anything off the top of my head and that's why I was asking everyone if there could be any other any anything else besides the shed that could be useful okay. thank you well I'm gonna make a motion that we grant the variance well, we still we have can't. a public hearing, right? We, no, we don't need. Why do we have to have a public hearing on this? Yes. Yeah. You do. We have mm -hmm. had a hearing on everything. All right. Then I make a motion we table this. To no, you, that we have a that we have a that public we, hearing is what you want to move. Yeah. Okay. I make a motion that we have a public hearing on this the next. Um, February. 11th. February. The problem is I won't be here. Okay, I'll second that motion. Oh, I need you here. <laughs> well, I'm going to be, I think. Uh, Who's the calendar? Okay. I seconded the motion. Okay. Okay. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. The neighbors also have to be notified. Yes. Uh, by the out. Yeah. I'll Thank you. Is there a way to get it all up on the website? That I don't know. Uh, Katie can do it for you. Oh, I can ask you. Yes, put the hearing there. Oh, on the website. Yes, in the paper. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Okay. What's that? Thank you again. Oh, um, please. Do you have the best method of contacting you on phone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, no problem. You know, requested it, so. Are you here? We have one more item. I wasn't, but if you if you'd like me to stay, I can certainly stay. Sure, it's no problem. Yeah, I, I, yes. I would definitely. Sure. Yeah. All right, no problem. Yeah. Are you familiar with the property? Um, yeah. I'm not, no. So it, yeah, I mean, is uh, the map attached to that? I have a, a light understanding of what's going on here. It's my understanding that. Um, there, sure, have a good night. Good night. Um, that this subdivision was a prior approved uh, mm -hmm. site, you know, went through site plan review and was, was approved prior. Is that the case? I mean, that was my understanding of, and then there was a... Are we talking about 10 Taylor Street? Yeah. Yes. Um, Maybe we should. Mr. Tucker, if you want to present that. Basically, Richie wants to go from a 50 foot right to 25 foot right. Return to what? Get a variance that's reached. And that wasn't something, I mean, I. Was there a change in the law of why that wasn't done prior? You know, at a prior when the site was through site plan approval initially, why that? I mean, uh, I, I, no, Stacy, um, not Stacy, uh, Kathy, uh, when she was here, told me that it was uh, just because it was a concern that they didn't want to have multifamily houses there. So that's why they changed the zoning. They didn't really, it, the attention was just something that fell out that they, the lots oh, so of the zoning built. has changed since. Um, That's right. You know, uh, since since after uh, site the plan approval, after the sub, after the sub plan done. approval, yeah. prior to the structure being built, the prior to the change. infrastructure being installed. I see. Okay. Now, I, I have a question for the building inspector. On, uh, <laughs> on this plan, the street is approximately 30 feet long. I'm sorry. But this fire lane, or whatever it's called, yeah, fire lane, is 50 feet wide. 
No, no um, that's not. Uh, wait, that's a right away. Oh, okay. Right away is 50 feet. Yeah. Why does the building is Which of you is owner? Why does the right away have to be wider than the um, I'm representing for the owner. He's the architect. Okay. <coughs> which uh, so which who, page were you looking at? This one. Architect. Who, who is the owner? Um, I'm just the representative for the owner. Right. Yeah. Who is the owner? Um, the Alpen Clique Corporation. And who is that? They're in a SOCUS, it's a post office box. Yeah, this is me, I'm notified for Do you have a name that. for them? Who, who? It's, a, it's a group of people. Right. You name no, it's usually corporations don't have to hold names. It's a corporation. So it's a corporation. Corporations are people. They're people. And you're yeah. the yeah. name is? My name is Anthony Abbey. Anthony A. A. E. This is a scale drawing. Yeah. This is 30 B. feet wide. Street is 30 feet wide. And you're the owner's rep. And, and the right of way is 50 feet wide. So are you part of this corporation? The right away has to be wider than the road. Uh, the, uh, hold on a second. The road, the road, the road right away is also 50 feet wide. Right away is for all town roads and things. That's a standard. They're always a 50 foot area. It's just that nobody ever paves the road 50 feet wide because utilities have to go in there. Well, if this is a scale drawing, this road's only 30 feet wide. Yes. But the right of way is not shown on there. Oh, you mean the oh, so the right of way? Yeah, yeah the right of way. So like the right of way was just shown oh, there because yeah. Okay, okay. okay what was it saying? Mm -hmm. um, what was I saying? What yes, make most of those drawings that are not going to have that on top of the 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 top of so who is the applicant? What is this name here? I cannot read it. David Toder. That's me. Oh, okay. So the app, you are the architect. Correct. Okay. This is behind Town Hall. That's behind the community center right. Town Hall, yep. Okay. It, I went out looking for it and I didn't see the, unfortunately I didn't have the map with me and the lot was not marked or numbered, so I just guessed that's what it was. And maybe the lot number fell out of the tree. Hmm. Okay, well, anyhow. Um, lot number 23. No. It's 38 it's lot, lot number. It's lot number 38. And, uh, so the front of the lot is on Taylor Street. Yes. Okay. So you would have the house facing this round cul-de-sac, or what, what direction would the house be facing? The house is actually facing south. Right, so you move from... See, build, I build zero energy houses, so the one thing is I have to worry to the house roof line, so it's always facing a south. So you would right, have so the house facing lot 40? That's right. Uh, no, 37. We'll see. You would have the house facing lot 37. Mm -hmm. So, on this map, we have two little squares. One's a garage. Okay, one is a garage, and one is a house. With a breezeway connecting them. Mm -hmm. So, all of the other houses in this area, are, are these houses that you built? Are they part of this yes. development? That's all empty. Isn't Taylor Street unbuilt? Yes. No, but there were all these other houses. Oh, right. That's the only stuff that's built. And this house is going to be built soon? Yes. All by itself over here? Yes. Oh, interesting. Did and you own the property before it was rezoned? No. No. You, you bought it after the rezoning. Yes. You bought it after. He's the third owner of the development. No, I'm actually the fourth. Or your fourth. Or fifth. So it's, it's back. I think it started ways. with Richie Steffens back in the 70s. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm uh, everything you did. said you're not the owner. No, what? He he's the fourth owner. What else? Well, we're just. He's the owner. He said he's the owner's rep. He's not the owner. He, he's using the word owner loosely. Pardon me. Okay. Yeah. It, he's the empowered representative for the corporation that is the owner. Mm -hmm. So the property was purchased after the rezoning. So when you, you knew what the requirements were when you bought the property. Yes. 
And is that where the architect comes in? And we say, why can't you design a house that fits on the property without it's a barrier? It's 20 foot wide. Mm -hmm. You mean a house is 20 foot wide? They would, yes, well, uh, one could, but it wouldn't match the neighborhood. It would not be very saleable because it would be cottagey, really small. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, it, it, in many ways, it's, it was, it became an unbuildable lot with the zoning change. There are also some other lots that also have, because of their shape, they, um, well, a 25 foot additional, uh, you know, loss of buildable area. Well, was, the main reason is also we're doing zero energy homes. Wait, can you? <coughs> okay. We're doing the zero energy homes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the thing is, we we have a restriction that's to do that much higher than most subdivisions are built. Just to plop a house any which way you want, mm -hmm. you yes. know. If there, I mean, if there was just a simple rule that everybody made it that all houses and lots have to be built so that you could orient houses facing south, we could probably save thirty percent of our energy. Mm -hmm. Just that simple action alone. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, also have to make sure that I have my house not only facing south, so I have a roof also facing south, so I can put solar panels on the roof. Right. So these other lots that show all of these rectangles, is that because? Under the current zoning, these are buildable lots? Yes, that's the buildable area within each lot indicated and, by that dashed line. Okay, so are there any other lots you would then be coming back for a variance for? Most likely. There are some other lots. There's one, for example, that was already granted uh, here because it's a triangular shape, lot 22 mm -hmm. on the, the main map. That one was granted a variance. Um, wait, wait, I want to say with you. Sure. Right here. Here. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is grandfathered, in effect. Well, at this point, yes, it was approved by the uh, a previous ZBA. So it was 23. Uh, yes, 23, that's correct. So both of those, again, because of the configuration and shape of the particular lots, right. those required variances. Uh, and also because we have the south-facing uh, so restriction. These already were given variants. That's right. Okay, uh, and that was while you guys owned it, or before? Yes, no. No. that's right. That's oh. You notice all the houses you see are facing the same way, regardless of how the road is. You know, most builders build a house facing right. the road. Right. Well, just the sense that you have to take deal with the situation it was given, we have to. So, which are the properties that you would require additional variances for? Um, probably 41, 42, down on the bottom would probably require it. It might, but uh, I think it was one of these 36, I think, because of where the creek is. That also made, or maybe it was uh, you know, thir lot 35 with the drainage easement. Right. Yeah. That also uh, really cut into the buildable area. Um, so there are a couple more that might require, or that we might come back to ask mm -hmm. for, um, because effectively that rezoning made it very difficult to build. In and to so the previous owner that had the rezoning before they, they had a bankruptcy problem or fight between the owners, they were actually going to start bringing proceedings to get to town on this whole issue because they wanted to, the idea they agreed fine we don't want to bother with the multifamily the zoning change is fine but don't change the lots because in this case here this lot that we're looking at right now they almost basically made it non conforming right. and that was one of the issues they wanted to try and you know fight the town about okay fine you could make, keep it so we can't do multifamilies but you can't make the lots so you can't build them on anymore because they're village lots. But this was previous to you. Yeah. So you bought it with full knowledge. Of yeah, I mean, if, uh, that they already were put the paperwork together with a legal so team. So then, let me ask on. this question: Were we to grant a variance for this, what would be? Um, why? Why would we not be setting a precedent that said, okay, yeah, and therefore we'll also be granting future variances? Well, it would be a as done previously, where a reasonable request was made, it was granted. Uh, we're not asking for variances on all the lots. Uh, we can you know, configure the houses pretty tight on some of them, but on some of them it's, well, sufficiently difficult to right. make a reasonable house that we're to Make it south-facing. And make it south-facing. South uh, that's true. Well, uh, I, I we have also to say think that I'm very, you know, I applaud 
the kind of construction that you want to make, mm -hmm. but um, I'm concerned about this this kind of um, you know. This isn't a one-off decision, yeah. is what's making me uncomfortable. It's not the only lot that's going to have a problem. No, well, the previous planning boards were, they were happy to have us just come back and just do it individually for each one. They knew that we we're going to have to come back like probably four more, five more times. So were you involved in it? Yes. In the, so you, when they <coughs> changed the zoning? Oh, no. That was happened, I think, in, um, if you go look on the board and the town thing, they drew it in black magic marker, right. so okay. it's actually so never on the map. I'm just trying to be clear about this. They drew a black magic marker around this particular, just so a these, different thing. So these two variances were granted before you bought the property? No, or after? No, after. No, to us. To uh, us, after. by which ZBA? By us. Yours. Us. Yeah. I was on the ZBA when we granted it. Yeah. I think Carl and I are the only ones that are here. How long ago was that? Oh, nine like, or ten. Oh, okay. Oh, nine, right. Two. Three or four years Those back. Were, yeah. That's right. Well, I remember, so, uh -huh. you know, going out there, looking at it, talking to them. Mm -hmm. Right. For example, these both, because they they face in a way diagonally to the road, they don't have the presence of you know a wall of house only 25 foot off the property line. You know where we were. We were just getting a corner. Um, again because of the configuration requirements. You know, you know it's real hard for people who don't know the area to understand the topography of this place. And it would be really you know, photographs maybe of the slope of the land. I mean, I remember coming out and I looked there was no snow in there. Yeah, very good. It might not be an attorney. Yeah, there was, <laughs> there was not any snow when I was out there. Yeah, I think we're all familiar with the area. We've all been out there. Okay. Right. No, right. How do you see this request for a variance affecting the community center? Not at all. Not at all, because they're that way, so we were able to build right up to that 20-foot line if we wanted to. The community center not. also faces away from... And that's the back of their center. I don't know if they have a window on that side. They do have some, but it's, it's going to be, what, 50, 60 feet away, maybe more. And actually, that's only a deck that's that close. Um, yeah, to the community talking center. About our but yeah, he wants uh, this no, way because the of, center, he, he wants it this way because of the um, solar um, panels. To the west <laughs> or to the left oh, of, oh, the, yeah, yeah. of Ten Taylor Street. It's, it, they won't be that close, but it, it basically faces the the, encro the, um, the variance requested. It's towards a fire lane and a. Um, you know, turnaround. So in a way, that's a pretty friendly space for a house to be a little close to the road because there isn't a direct neighbor right there. There isn't a, a through street. Um, it's really mostly used for walking. Uh, and then Anthony's the owner of 37 and 36 across the, the way. So in terms of, you know, effective neighbors, it, it's him or... But there, you know, there aren't houses there. There are no houses there yet. It's just, so those could be what's that? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. They they will be Ordinary hopefully <laughs> at some point. Uh, but then again, it'll be the yeah, the distance will be quite a few kilometers. That's right. A hundred and fifty kilometers. I don't think he can. That's right. The, the that's the community. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, I I'm that's not understanding this right map did you, did you at sure? all because it looks yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you have this plotted, and this is oh, you're saying the fifty yeah. foot. Be Setback goes all the way back here. Right, yeah. that's where okay. it would be, right through the middle of the structures. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. This is a little less of a variance requested yeah. than what's on, on the original submission. Okay. What is so between the end of this cul-de-sac of Taylor Street and the um, town of New Paltz Community Center? Is this a place where people walk? Yeah, or it's yeah. paved and has a chain across it most of the time. They had it removed Emergency. last time I was there for snow removal purposes. Uh, but there's typically it's a it's a fire lane, it's emergency access, uh, and it's I have to install a chain not, across it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so typically it has a chain across. People walk across or or bike or whatever because you can go around the chain. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pedestrian access only. Hmm. So with this revision, you're asking for 18 feet. That's right. 
Uh, I don't know if everyone got a copy. Uh, Dave kind of See, we call. change it from the one you have. We we didn't ask for the full 25. Well, we asked for okay. Oh, basically the, the garage and this brief because it's view here. Where you can yeah, it's it's like the GM um, rotated straight. The, the idea of having it rotated was to give it a little more curb appeal, but the seven feet can be saved by having it just straight oh, um, the, the garage too. Yeah, the house. Oh, yeah. I see the the elevations would look very similar. Do you, to you, what see, you, see, see. Do you okay. see any problems yeah. with this mm. access road? That's what I'm trying to figure out, what, yeah. it, what it is. It goes right into the house. It's a fire lane that has to be installed later on. Um, Who owns this? Who owns it here? The fire lane? I don't know it's, who took over ownership, but at the dedication of the road, right, the it's, village John's the road. Are we yeah, the village. The same problem? Yeah, but the town is plowing it. But the town's plowing it. Okay, but that's the town's plowing it. But it's the, it's yeah, the I don't know if the village and town oh, fight because I don't know. Okay. Okay. But it's, it's, yeah. We've had a big problem at Woodland Pond for yeah. a long time. Oh, yes. I think, yeah. yeah. No, this is not at all the same thing. This well, one was created because there's only one entrance into the whole the whole development of Montague. That whole area there has only one entrance in. So when this subdivision was finally planned, they needed an emergency route. So this is a fire lane. So let's say a car crashes somewhere in Bontecue yeah. and damages, and there's a fire up the road or there's some damage, and people need to get in and out of the development for emergency reasons. Mm -hmm. This is an emergency access only. That's why I had to install a chain across it. Okay, and you're sure that all of the planning records reflect the fact that that is not to be used as an access That's point. why I put a chain across it. Yeah. Well, we okay. would need documentation for that. But, we, but in a way, no, just, it's in the, the file map. Comparative, in the there's, there's no temptation to not go the normal path on Bontecu View. Like, this isn't a shorter, easier path. Yeah, no, and I there, there are three ways out um, of, the, of uh, Anthony's part of that mm -hmm. development on, toward Bontecu. With all due respect, mm -hmm. this is a, a much shorter route. Uh, off of 32. If I'm living... Yeah. No, it's got a chain across it. I understand, but that's why I'm... Because we've had another issue <laughs> in the community that is a town, village, right-of-way, yeah. access road, whatever you want to call it, it's been a, a serious problem. And the fact of the matter is that this would be, I think, an extremely tempting way for people. I mean, you just turn in by town hall and yeah, go a little farther right right in your own house. I know. You're not going through the circuitous bonding. Yeah, but how can you get to the house? There's a chain across it. I yeah, know, and there it is now, but before you chained it, 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 there were people using it. Yeah, Which I know there were people using it, but, but that was I only because I didn't that. get around to I didn't get around to putting the chain up. Right. But I had to do that before the, ten, the village accepted the road and took the road over. The chain had to be installed. Yeah. yeah. This is this is a different situation. Yes. In, in Woodland Ponds, you've got a development, and you've got people there. Here is the town hall and the community center. Well, it also, isn't, it's, you know, it's, it's also the deal. this development and proposed development is all within the village. Is that this is not proposed? This is a fully approved. So our issue at Woodland Pond was that it was the town and the village had to. Get well, there, there was a bigger issue there, because I'm familiar with it, because the engineers always talk story, because I did another road in the town just recently. That was, that road just got finally dedicated, if it did get dedicated, after nine years of problems. So that road was not owned by the village or the town. Mm -hmm. That road was in the limbo land. Mm -hmm. And so that was an access in there that they, somebody basically purchased from the developer to actually get that access in as another entrance in and out of Woodland Ponds. Mm -hmm. And that was all something that they had to figure, then, you know, that's a... It was not like that. Well, that's what Don Andy was telling like me. Wasn't like that at all. Because Andy <laughs> well, said that was not, that was a, on, the road was only dedicated like three or four months ago. Required a secondary road. Yes, yeah, since okay. since one. The and then the owner of the development uh -huh. sold and that access to. In that interim, the whole lent development was developed, but the developer knew. And agree. Well, no, he, he, he sold that access to me. Excuse me. Would you let one person talk at a time, please? Um, it was the neighbor who then built houses that wanted that road closed off. But the site plan approval, which is in the village, 
Okay, that was another jurisdiction battle because the new houses were in the town, but all of Woodland Pond is in the village. And to get that village approval, they had to have a secondary road and that was it. So in many ways, that was a false fight. Yeah. If people had gone back and looked at the site plan and how it was approved, they would have known the answer and that would have been the end of it. Well, they also dedicated the road nine years ago. <laughs> but There's I mean, in this case things. here... You know about reinventing wheels, yeah. don't you? <laughs> but this one, this case right here, though, this is something that was all taken care of. It's all, the village took care of it completely legally. Town does not want people accessing that. They're only allowed to for for... Who owns the reason. property behind the community center? Behind the community center is mm -hmm. this property. Yes. You do. Yeah, this is the property. Other than the road Other itself. Mm -hmm. Other than the road itself. Fire fire access. Outer, yeah. you know, that whole massive thing. So, you know, as the community grows and just because you're in the village now and that happens to be town property, doesn't mean you can't curve Taylor Road and because I can see a right of way here on the map to develop the rest of the property. So, I mean... No, what do you mean? There's nothing to be developed anymore. It's not going to be developed anymore. No, there's nothing to, There's nothing left to be developed. I think all the lots are laid out is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. the, but that... Are kind of, see, this what? is the community center right here. And then here's yeah, but the what's this? This is those ugly apartments. Hey, the the condos. Condos. This is um, Village Arms? Village Arms. Can't be. Uh, Village Arms are much further. Village Arms are, you see those four, those no. two rectangles? Uh, I, I thought this, yeah, was very... And these two rectangles are Village Arms. See? Uh, so these, these rectangles these, here are Village Arms. Yeah, these are all Village Arms right here. These? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm... That's I'm, right. Yeah, those are Village Arms. Two. Right. And these are Village Arms. That's right. There are houses on all those lots. These are the last 25. This is what I'm asking. And these also... So yeah. That's right. All of those ones. Yes. Um, and the That's correct. This is Village Arms here. Village Arms is way over no, to the here. left of Town Hall. Hall. This is Town Hall. Village right Arms. Towards Taylor Street. Oh. No, I'm, I swear to God, you, these are Village Arms. I, I, yeah, I, planted, okay. I planted a, a billion trees along this line here. I, I believe the, that's true, Sally. So he's oh, going this way. That's the only one. Oh, the flag line. Look at yeah, this. This is how it looks. The, this yeah. is the community center right here. Right. The town hall's over here. Okay. The 32 this is right is here. 32. All right. So I. Village Arms is off of 32. No, I okay. see where he is. Okay. I get it. I, I'd these like are not built yet, right? No, these are not built yet. This is built. Everything that you see blank is built. Everything that... Everything that you see, nothing on, these are all built. Those are built? Yes, these okay. are built back in the 70s. So, well, 70s this is here. your lot. Aren't you going to have the same problem here and here and here? Is there 50 feet from here to here? Yes. And 50 feet from here to here? Yeah, all these are drawn as conforming spots. Okay, so except this one. This is drawn as conforming also, that first audit line. But you you want to turn it around, is that? No, I'm just increasing that line that way. Sally, he already said that he'll be back for probably four or five more variance requests. That's what I'm asking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I think. And, and they already had gained two. Right. The, these They've two already granted two variances yes. from this board. Yes, not from us, but well, apparently Carl uh, and David were. Carl and David yeah. were on the board when those were granted. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you're asking us to do is to set a precedent for a number of lots in the future. Continue the precedent. That well, was my point. That's the precedent. Okay. Oh, Carl, so, said, Carl said it at another meeting because I asked him about setting a precedent. He says, "No, we can, you know, we no, can we certainly can. But we just, can accept one. We can deny another one." Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go through my questions. So, um, I don't know that we can really figure out if this is going to produce an undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood since it's not really all that built up. Um, it does kind of concern me that it's zoned one way and why you bought property when you knew what the zoning was. Um, can the benefit be sought 
by some other method that would not require a variance? What have you actually looked at that would not require a variance? It's not possible. Basically, the changing of zone, the change, okay, A, actually, we did not actually know the zoning was until uh, actually after the closing. When I went to the Tavil Hall, there's a magic marker drawn out. All your other zoning maps are printed up. This one's still a magic marker drawing. If somebody took a Sharpie and just drew around this, whole, this just this little piece here. Even the old part's not. I'm and sure the thing is, a lawyer the, would have looked into this. What? Sure no, it was we found out after the fact. But then we did. That's how I know they had the legal papers put together because I went back to the place. Okay. Now, I mean, I the, 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 the only other process there is left for me to do is I can go have a bunch of lawyers and then try and sue the village. I don't want to go that route because they created basically non-conforming lots that were already proved. So what the village did here, their intent was just to limit the amount of development. They wanted to limit that there wouldn't be multi-family houses because there's only one entrance coming in here. Okay. That's the reason why there's a fire lane. They need to give an emergency access in and out for the community. Because they made this is something that they made a mistake way off in the bat, so they were trying to cover their tracks and make the mistake. And I don't think the intent was, and that's what Stacy was telling me, but they, their not Stacy, Kathy, their intent was never when they changed the zoning was to try and make it so the lots were not conforming. They just wanted to limit it so we wouldn't have two, three family houses built on these lots. Okay. We have certain mandates from the state that we need to consider, and I would like you to just play along with me and consider the answers to these questions. There is a place for tribal knowledge, and I appreciate you sharing that, but right now I want to try and understand this in terms of the questions that New York State tells us we are to consider. Okay. So I'm asking you, what other methods could you have used? What other options did you explore for this? And why was it not feasible? That is something we have to ask you about. The lot was like 20 feet wide. The buildable area is just over 20 foot wide. And then if you tried to skew it so it's facing south, you could make a house wider than 15 feet. Who wants to live in it? That's like the trail. I can put a trailer on there. Or or railroad apartment in the city. I mean, it's kind of a not, it's not, it's not a, a mobile home or the, the community character uh, question, which is relevant to that mm -hmm. one. That's one of the, in a way, that's part of what says this is the best method of addressing the situation is to allow us a little, a little more room to build a reasonable house so that it will fit in okay. character with the community and the neighborhood. And we're also trying to do something good for the community by doing zero energy homes. It's just, I mean, I don't see where the resistance is coming from. I mean, I, if uh, more builders should be doing what I'm doing. And if anything, I find I should have encouragement instead of uh, resistance. Listen, but that's I mean, I could, put, I, I could put a trailer on here. <laughs> yes, I'd say my option is I could put a mobile home on here. Okay. If you want a mobile home in the village, we could do that. Question also about Dude. the size of Does the house. Does everybody understand what 20 feet is? Oh, oh Queen. Yeah. How, how many bedrooms would there be in, in the house if you were to get a variance and build what you have planned? Just what, three bedrooms? It's a three bedroom house, right? Yeah. Three bedroom. Okay. Have you already. Um, brought this up to the planning board, and is that why? And you referred to us? No, no. The planning board said this is not an issue. Right? That's right. That's right. We right. We, we asked uh, that very. We asked the planning board. We said zoning. It's a zoning issue. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Does everybody understand what 20 feet is? Anybody know how wide this room is? Don't take a guess. Twice before. It's 22 feet wide. So that means a 20 foot house would be two feet less than the width of this room. Mm -hmm. Be like a place down in Brooklyn. A railroad. Yeah, but we'd also have to skew it though, so we don't have 20 feet. Right. We okay. have 15. Yeah, I'm just saying, right. you know, that's what 20 feet is. Mm -hmm. And then to turn it so that it's facing the proper way to. Um, uh, to do the, the solar panels, it would be so this, this one. 
This is the computer in the wall. Okay. Well, so Carl, considering the, where I live, that sounds that seems pretty grand. <laughs> <laughs> And where I did live, that seems pretty yeah. grand. I have no no problem about small houses. I think they're wonderful. But Carl, I was just wondering, um, the variances that were already granted for this lot, were they in relation to the zoning? Or like, if you can remember the, the two variances that have already been granted. They were front yard setback. They were variances similar, similar to this Similar one. to this one. M more. Yeah. There we asked for twenty. There we did twenty-five feet. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just trying to get an idea of, of the decisions that were, that were in that were made, like you know, to grant those variances, if they would apply or if any, anything would apply for this as well. Most of the twenty-five lots don't need a variance, and to some extent, the reason these twenty-five weren't built out earlier by previous owners because they were the tougher lots, especially once the zoning change was made. So several of them would have required coming through. You know, an approval process, and so previous developers said, "Well, I'm just not going to deal with that." Uh, so we're we're kind of um, bottom of the barrel is the wrong phrase, but you know, we're we're dealing with some of the uh, the tougher uh, mm -hmm. sites. Right. So you, right, and you knew like you knew that this was going to be part of the process when you when we started did those zero energy, we knew it was going to be a problem. Okay. I mean, other than this lot, well, all the other lots. Well, that, are no, easy that, to build that, that, no, I'm sorry. I was saying that when you decide to build zero energy, when you decide to purchase the purchase the property, you knew that you would have to go through this process. Yes, okay. we knew we were going to have to go through. Well, not till actually after the closing, when we found out that the zoning was the magic marker date. It wasn't the sellers didn't disclose that. Okay. Were you going to go through the rest of your questions? I would like. Yeah. Well, Sally, oh. did I understand correctly that in this particular development? These gentlemen have come twice before to this board asking for the same thing. That's right. And has been granted. Yes. Yes. Twice. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you recommend a zoning change? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> to zone it back the way it was. Well, if I do remember you guys I mean, we did talk about it. And we figured that we were talking about maybe well, five at the most. There was still a question that Vicky had. No, that's okay. all. Right. I guess we forgot to ask for it. <laughs> and my well, you guys were thinking it was only five, so you figured yeah. you just have to do it five times instead yeah. of changing the zoning. Yeah. Because the whole idea was to change the zoning back to the other zoning. The original intent was still, which I agreed with, was not to increase the density, yeah. the population density. Yeah. Right, and R2 allows for multifamily. Or the two, question two. then becomes, you're not requesting a 25 foot variance to the front for a zero energy house. You're requesting it because you've had it twice before. That no, he's, mo right. he's modified it though, so he's asking for 18 feet. Of all of them or just for this one? This one. For, yeah, just we're not one. asking for variances yeah. on any of the properties tonight. Because they don't have any. No, they rather, they you just considered the one right. as a standalone. You have, have one. one before this board right now okay. asking for a 25 foot variance on the front because the zoning was changed and requires a 50 yard setback. That's what you're requesting. Right. Not 18 feet. Well, now, my question to you is, since you've already just said you've been here twice before for the exact same thing, and you did not build zero net houses. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. They're all zero energy all houses. The first in the country. <laughs> this is That's the first, first zero energy well. development. Okay. Well, of so both requests prior to this were for the same idea. Yes, and we followed through what we said we'd do. <laughs> yeah. How many more times do you think you're coming back? We figured it, we figured we're going to need about a total of five on here. It, you know, it was five or six. We said we back in the beginning. That's why we didn't press the zoning change. We figured we were just going to deal on an issue by issue. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And some of that's not certain. It's hard for us to say exactly how many times we'll come back because we're doing it to some extent one at a time. Those others were also sought individually. The lot 22 and 23 that were previously approved, they were sought as one-offs. They we knew, understand they have to stand on their own merits individually. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't they be better off asking for a zoning change? 
Isn't that harder? Um, like far you know, I, I don't know. That's probably more a question for legal counsel, I would say. Um, I, yeah, unless they change the zoning know, back it, to what it yeah, was, they've yeah. got to come to us right. each time. Unless you made a totally you different make, zone you and you make a, a zoning spot zoning type of thing. On something that isn't proposed. That's right. Do you spot have an opinion on what? this? Spot zoning. Rezoning. Um, also, it seems to me that I've, I've, I haven't been out to this particular property. I've been out to another house that just um, received a CO that was finished, and so I've been in, in the neighborhood. This is but not. But I haven't been specifically to that property. No, I mean other. I mean, I. If they rezoned it back, you know, in, a, in a, an opinion. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I understand the setback requirement in the zone, um, and you know they're asking for you know essentially an 18 foot. It looks like variance from that. You know because they can't get that 50 feet. They're getting 32. Um, I mean, I can't say I have an opinion either way, really. I, I um, you know, I, I just enforce the zoning what it is. You know, um, so I don't necessarily. I think that's really. A question for you all as far as your these other houses that would also require variances what kind of what size variance would they be requiring? less I think this is the last one that we're we need 18 to 25 foot of variance yeah. <coughs> the, there's 41 to 42 would be difficult Oh, so that also, so it's right, but again, it, it might be a far more modest variance requested on future ones. Most of them would be more like a five foot front yard variance as opposed to something. This is, I think, this is the last one that needs something fairly substantial. And I, so, I acknowledge this is fairly substantial, but hopefully, because of its location on that fire lane and the cul de sac, it's actually the one with the least impact on any neighboring properties or the neighborhood. In any way, and so most these of the, uh, are showing the back setback as per code. The, the whole no, the, the, that's the whole here. thing's per code. That whole thing is current zoning. It's got a 50 foot front. This has a 50 foot yep. front. Yeah. 20, yeah. 20 yeah. foot back, 25 foot back, 25 foot back, 25 foot back, 25 foot back and 20 foot sides. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can't do it on that. yeah they all mm -hmm. show that. That's what those dashed lines show the building no, area. Yeah. Uh, and you can see that some of them, like Lot 35, it might be deep, deep enough depending on the house configuration, but it's got some challenges. There's a drainage easement there, and then Lot 23 has the, um, the creek um, setback as well. So some of those are a little tighter, but neither of those is as bad in a way or is strongly affected uh, by the R1 zoning as Lot 38. That's the last one that yeah, is. I tend to disagree. Because these two we went for 20 years later. <laughs> well, no, I'm be honest with them. I, I don't want to come back later and say, well, last time you said this. Well, but we remember we designed out lot 35, mm -hmm. and it, it needed, I think we were asking for 12 foot on lot 35, so that's not as much as 18 or 25 that we were requesting. But that, that was also client driven, and maybe yeah. we can drop, you know. Because these, two were, the these two were dramatic. The ones that we did the last two times, those were both we had to go back to the 25. And, the and we were was kissing them. And because of the south requirement. That was the, the reason those were needed so much. Uh, but also, lot 22 is just a weird triangle. If you can imagine, if it was 25 foot less, it, it was a very, very small triangle uh, indeed. And how about 45? That looks kind of small to me. It is small. Yeah, but it's. It's um. Well, you be it's back? Kind of south facing. Yeah, it's kind of south facing. Yeah. Right. How is the access to it? It's a flag it's a that's flag also lot. that's one of the other flag laws. Uh, Twenty nine is also. Flag. Yeah. Well, way. let's let's deal with let's mm -hmm. deal with this yeah, one. Not all the rest of it. It's going to have to come back for variances, unless we request that they change the zoning back. And I have a question about the zoning because I just want to make sure I'm clear though. Is that it was originally set in place to discourage multifamily houses? Is that yeah. correct? For it density was reasons. It was R2 when it was first <coughs> subdivided, yeah. R2 zoning, and then it was changed to R1 zoning, and apparently that was in order to make it so it couldn't be two family housing in there. But it also, I mean, part of what it did is it shrank the buildable area. Right. I think it was acknowledged at the time that some of those lots are made very challenging and that 
they can seek variances, and that would be the remedy. So we're seeking. Mm -hmm. Right, and the right, and the, the houses that you're building are not multifamily houses. No, they can't be. Right, yeah. right, they're single. Okay. Yeah, and I, that's why Stacy, I think at the time was advising that we yeah. should just. I mean, Kathy, keep me. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Kathy was at the point because she said that was the intent. She said to come back for variances for each lot, you know, because of the problem. Right. But that was the only way. You didn't. You don't have an R. You don't have an R1 code. It has 25 foot setbacks. Okay. So. And yeah, that's and that's one one I think um, piece that needs to be clear that the original intent of the rezoning, if it was meant for to discourage multifamily housing, to bring it back. That would still open up the doors, and yep. at least with yeah. granting variances, right. you can. In other words, we're better off yeah. having them come to us for a variance when they need it. Right. You know what we considered last time? I remember was because they're doing net zero, which is a pretty important thing to them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, really good. It, 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 it was good to give the variance. Yeah. And I don't. To me, it ha that hasn't changed. I mean, when you've got a net zero house. You're saving on the environment. Mm -hmm. And I won't, because we have a full full house tonight, I won't be voting, but... I, well, we can't vote tonight anyway. It's not a vote it's hearing. Oh, that's true. It's hearing. Okay. But I still want to say that. Um, Why can't we vote? We didn't have a public hearing last time. It was not announced as a public it's hearing. No, there were no public hearings the last two times. Well, there's nobody that lives next door to it. Yeah. There's, There's yeah. nobody that lives next door to this. this you family. still have to have a public it's hearing. Right. Public hearing. <laughs> That's what the ZBA is about. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got to do that. Okay. There are people, you have there people who are driving right. on those roads. There are because well, it's the one other, access road. There and there are other road. people who may own lots there. You don't own all these lots. Except for the town and the, vill the Village Arms. Mm -hmm. Well, Village Arms. I mean, you know. But the owner of the Village of Arms is never going to come out here. No, but well, well, we can There are people who live at Village Arms, you know. Condominium. So all the people who live in Village Arms. Oh, they're not rented? Uh, well, we also can't assume that they haven't come out in the past, they won't come out in the future. Right. No, I think it, I they're it's rented. Like, it's right. But they still have rights. The owner has the rights. They you are know. the no, property. A Neighbors have a rights. Public, Neighbors a public have hearing, rights. anyone can... Yeah, but they haven't got to send letters to everybody in the condominiums, I hope. Also, when I was speaking to Victoria, the attorney for the ZBA, she reviewed the case and said that since the application is within 500 feet of town property, it has to be before the Ulster County Planning Board, and then, which we will get you on the agenda for hopefully for the first meeting in February, and then uh, we do have to have a public hearing, which we will have in February. So then, who um, who um, just so as he he's saying that we, so everybody in the whole village arms has to get a letter. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, when we go and we use a GIS website to generate the addresses, and we just put in 200 feet for village, and then 500 feet for town. So depending on what addresses we get, then we'll give that list to you. But it also goes. Paul's Times, and it will also go on the website. So it is open, open to the public. Um, there's a lot of issues that aren't only attended by neighbors, but just by concerned citizens. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the public hearing will hopefully be in February 14th. Once we hear back from the Ulster County Planning Board, February is a Friday. February 11th, sorry. No, yeah. <laughs> we have to hear back that, from the Ulster County. Yeah, we have to hear from the Ulster County. County. Or do I have to wait till they hear back from the Ulster County? How do we deal with this now? Procedurally. Well, Should just one step to at Here, dependent on if it gets on the agenda for the Ulster County Planning Board, I guess. Okay, there. She just made the motion. Oh, no, no, I, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I know you didn't make it, but that's the motion I want to make. Yeah. Okay. Um, wait, I, I actually County have. Planning. Okay. I'm, I'm not ready to. I, we can discuss it after somebody seconds it. Okay. 
Can we have a what, second? What are we discussing? If we discuss, it, what is it? I have a couple more questions. Does, does, doesn't the discussion have to be pertinent to the motion? Yes, yes, but yes. it can be is the, are discussed after pertinent the motion, the motion is accepted. No. <laughs> they have the hearing and make a decision. Before we have a second of this motion. Or, or not. Couldn't they do it simultaneously? The motion, the motion is to refer to the Ulster yeah. County Planning. Is there a second to that motion? Uh, we don't need to make a motion. That's just normal. Am I correct? Because of the well, we location. have to deal with this some way. If this is a practical way of dealing. I see. And I, I will second the motion. Okay. Now we're ready for discussion. Do we have to discuss on the motion? Yeah. Well, that's not what we wanted to discuss. That's not what I wanted to. I had some other questions. Questions concerning what? Um, not the motion, but the application and a, a request I wanted to make. You can still set your hearing, and you can still ask your questions. Is there discussion on this motion? Are you ready to vote? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed, negative sign. The motion carries. Okay, now. Okay. I would like, if possible, could somebody unearth the minutes of the meeting where the zoning change was made? I would like to read what the rationale was behind the what zoning the change. Zone? I have no idea. What year? That the zone what year? What year? Yeah. What decade? The, the minutes for. I think go back to 2003 CDA. at least. Is it 2002? I have trouble think. finding minutes for 2012. Oh, we're looking at the zoning code, and it should show the date of the amendment to yep. the, to that district. The zoning code should show that. Thank Do you. you want me to send that out to everybody once we? I can scan it and okay. I would, yeah. yeah, I'd like to copy that. I think yeah, I would like to just. The point is the rationale behind the zoning. You have the zoning code. I'll just say the uh, the minutes. The minutes. I have to it's right on the drawing. The email for you? Yeah, my email's on the drawing. Well, it doesn't matter what the minutes say, gang. Mm -hmm. The zoning code is the zoning code. Yes. And well, it doesn't it? matter. Well, that, I was No, the they want to know why no, they did it. Actually, why I, did I, it. I, <coughs> for, for the assumption of saying why it was created, if it was created with the purpose of making, of discouraging multifamily houses or not, and to know more about that zoning. But. I don't think that's relevant to the issue at hand. But it is what it is. The issue, they are asking for a variance on the zoning code as it exists now. I it understand. does not matter except for your own intellectual curiosity. Well, I would say that if you're um, going to if you're going to grant a variance that negates that decision for the zoning, you want to know why. Yeah, Sally, the variance request reads as follows. 25 foot yard setback instead of 50 paren reestablishing original R2 front yard setback because rezoning <coughs> to R1 made lot unbuildable to community <coughs> standards. I'm not disagreeing with you, but this board historically has already done it twice. I understand. <coughs> I want to look at it, I want to understand it. I'm not taking any position. I'm gathering information. I'm interested also <coughs> in the issue of the adverse effect or impact on physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood or district. I'm not saying there are any. I'm just interested in that issue being addressed in the rationale. I see that there is a uh, tributary 13 going through not too far away from there. I don't know what happens, you know, I don't know how wet it is there. The lot was not clearly marked. I mean, it was hard to know that was lot 38 or 10 Taylor Street. I mean, there was nothing out there. It's just all there. And I don't know where things start and end. Are there any environmental, I mean, what is the, how wet is this? That lot is uh, a little above Taylor Street. Um, it should have, I mean, it's, it's a building lot. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, 
not doing anything special in that way. Uh, there's drainage at the street uh, between Lot 38 and the stream, which goes into a retention pond that's approved by the, the village. Um, so it should, and, and so in answer to the specific question, it should have no adverse environmental impacts. Uh, and in fact, com you know, because it'll be zero net energy compared with other, yeah, it'll have less. Okay. Let me ask the building inspector this. For this subdivision to be approved by the county, which I'm assuming it had to be approved by the county, am I correct? No, it hasn't gone to county. No, it hasn't gone to county. No, no, I mean this whole The whole subdivision. subdivision. The, 70s, so the rule might have been different, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> didn't the county have to approve this subdivision? No, the village planning board did. Okay. Well, yeah, and then I think the county... It's just it's filed at the county. Whatever. Yeah, Didn't they have to go through a whole environmental yes. study? Oh, yeah, the planning board had a synchro and all that other stuff. All right, okay. that's, that answers the question. Yeah, all the environmental information is all at the planning board. That's not going to be in a zoning board meeting or anything. No, no. No, that's at the planning board. Yeah. Um, oh, I also would like to know now, they have submitted a revised plan which asks for an 18-foot setback instead of a 25-foot setback, so which is a little more reasonable. Yeah. How do they go about uh, amending this plan? They have to fill out a new application. But not pay another fee. I mean, they no, just, no. just amend They have to it. amend their application. Just amend the application, yeah. Let me ask you, is this, as you have it here, is this the subdivision as it was originally approved? Yes. Okay, so this... But it, it was, it goes off of the page, and some of it was built out by previous owners. Okay. To the up, you know, the, the top of the page. But all of these were specified as buildable lots. That's correct. So 38 was defined as being a buildable lot in the original subdivision yes. plan. Okay. That, right. That's how it was subdivided into a buildable lot. Yeah. So the against a lot, lot to, okay, the back it's against a lot to actually create a lot that's not buildable. That, but that was before the zoning change, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm no, just, no, I understand. You know, I'm dot just, the I's I'm and cross the T's. You. I'm just staying with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to understand, you know, the business of handing out variances is something we try to do responsibly and we need to look at all the angles. Mm -hmm. You know, your job is to come and present your best case to us and you've done a very good job of that and our job is to, you know, look at all the sides that we can look at. I had it and then it was put away and I wasn't, I, wasn't, I, had, I had it out and then, it, um, yeah, I have to look at it, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, they, the turtles are kind of the, um, the county ZBA, is that what it's called? Uh, the Ulster County Planning Board, which we're still waiting on a response. We submitted the proposal for it to be on the agenda on Monday, yesterday, and um, hopefully we'll hear back. And then hopefully it will be on the agenda for the first, I believe it's the first um, Tuesday or Wednesday of the month that the Ulster County Planning Board meets. And then we can schedule your public hearing for February 11th, the same day as uh, the previous applicant, Stacey. Sure. Um, okay, thanks. Sure. Mm -hmm. Do you know if we can amend the application well, that's, right now? Can they amend right the application? Uh, it sounds like it's more likely that if you're going to approve anything, it would be the 18 foot yeah, variance. Like as opposed to 25 foot 25 variance. Foot, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. entirely, you know, that's fine with us. So, you know, just kind of. How do they make it? What, what happened here is there was no application before us. They, they came right to the, it's a minor saying they came right to the, the ZBA. Um, there was no pending application in front of the, you know, to the building department. That's yeah. right. We weren't. Right. We were right. on full plans, and there right. wasn't a point if you weren't going to grant it. <laughs> yeah. So there was. Working up the whole I didn't have physically anything. Whatever, whatever you have is what you have. So. Oh. Um, I would say if they want to amend something. Um, for this one, for the, uh, then I would. I would have. You know, maybe ask them what you want them to do to amend it. I mean. This this 
one drawing? Is this the this is the new one you're looking at? Yeah. yeah. I mean, is that acceptable enough to you for an amendment? I don't know. Like I said, there's no application before us, so there were no materials that we received or reviewed. Can everybody agree that uh, they can amend this without going through a whole? Process. I mean, I don't see why they should have to go through a whole process. And to me, an 18 foot variance is a lot better than a 25. No, I would agree with you on that. I'm also concerned that we didn't give the building inspector a chance. Because well, they haven't applied for a building permit yet. Wait, I didn't finish saying what I was going to say. Sorry, I'm tired. It's getting late. Okay. I think not too late for us to be polite. Yes, I would, I, I, my understanding is we usually get a recommendation from the building inspector. We get a reaction from the building inspector. We get something in writing and we haven't had that yet. Yes. Because right, it has right because there's no application that came before our office. They, they came right to the, the zoning board. Yeah. Well, well, I think that so. needs to we, we have a process yeah. that we ought to follow. Yes. Right. And that process involves first going to the building inspector. Well, that was my understanding. And that's, and, and, and that's why, you know, initially I wasn't even aware that tonight I would, you know. So they I, haven't paid an escrow. <sighs> Nothing's been done really in front of our office other then than the application. I think with Holly, you did the application for the yeah, yeah there was no application. If, for if indeed you are looking at this for the first time as we are, I suggest that we go back to the process that we allow the building inspector to do whatever it is that. The building inspector feels is necessary before our next meeting. Well, we you have a hearing, so yeah. you're going to need a written recommendation. Yeah, I think the recommendation would be from our office, and from my understanding, the procedure is that it would be, um, you know, a denial of, uh, you know, or, you know, what because of, you know, what what we have here. Um, and the, the setback requirement that it would be a denial stating what variance they're seeking. Pretty much, I well, they, our they office would be putting in writing what 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 they've put in writing. They already the have an application, or or, or yeah. not, the, yeah. the application for the twenty foot for, for the variance application. So right. they already have a variance application. How did that come to us before it went to? Well, the gave it went to Holly, and Holly told Holly. her this is Holly's directions. Yeah, it went directly to Holly, and then I was there when you guys brought it in, and then Holly said, gave it to me, and said, this goes to zoning. And right. made it sound like it was just very simple, clear cut, front yard setback, wouldn't need much. Okay, and then we need some housekeeping. Yeah, and you know, you have to forgive me also. I'm going to have to go and look at the uh, procedural requirements and you know, in the in the zoning. Um, like I said in the previous ones that I did with denial letters and sending them to you, um, when you know, I wasn't aware of this until I had a short conversation with the applicant, and I wasn't even aware that they were going for for a variance. Mm -hmm. But what I will do is next time I'm in the office and I'll speak with Mark tomorrow, is ensure that. If there is a procedural, if there's a procedure in the zoning code that says, you know, step one is the application made to the building inspector, step two, a denial, uh, and then, you know, what variance you're requesting, then we'll make sure that the office is following that procedure Good. to the letter. Yes. And I'll speak Please with Holly and make sure that, and then if, and if this is uh, indeed um, procedurally, Correct in what they're doing, then um, we'll, we'll we'll have to discuss that also. And when this application be amended, or is it they, they just follow up with a new one? So uh, I reviewed that word? The, the zoning code uh, with the specific regard to how that, that one does an application. Holly in the office. One reason yeah. why, or unless they specifically asking it. about the planning board, because mm -hmm. in the zoning yeah. code application format it says must be reviewed by the planning board right. and the planning board said we don't need to see this so but so that was mentioned but there was not a specific mention in the application you know These process procedures format that said that. we have to you know knowingly apply for something we know we can't have and, and be denied it. Right. And, I and I don't know and I don't know that I don't I don't know that that is I've the case in my files I don't have any letters from from uh, Kathy ever denying it she just had she had these 
She actually filled the application for me the last two times out. That okay. was it. All right. Okay, but we have been getting procedure. applications that have first gone to the building inspector right. and come with some sort of recommendation. Right. Either deny or, you know, this is the problem, these are the mitigating circumstances, I recommend you. We don't have that kind of technical <coughs> expertise. We rely on the experts right. to look at the issue, mm -hmm. tell us what the issues are and what the mitigating circumstances are and help us make then a measured judgment. And that is a part of the process I feel very strongly should not be um, overlooked. Sure. I, I, I really want your expertise when you look at this, you have time to look back at whatever has been done or you know whatever. So it's just a procedural thing. I don't want to slow you guys down, but we're lay people. He's an expert. It's how the system works best. Well, like I said before, and I didn't mean, I didn't mean it um, just to, you know, to be curt. Um, I look at things from a more from a uh, an, an enforcement uh, uh, perspective. Um, there's certain requirements in the code, and if they don't meet those, they need a variance. Um, now, I don't necessarily have an opinion either way. I mean, I, I may and, and I may not. And I don't know if, I mean, more uh, like a consultant, I don't know if there's a building inspector in legally the, able to give you an opinion and say, in, in, look, it's my opinion, this variance should be granted. In the past, we have looked to the building inspector for recommendations. For some recommendations and guidance. Okay, I understand. Yep. Without pointing fingers, this is about the sixth meeting I've sat with you, and similar things have come up. I would suggest strongly, if you want a procedure, make a recommendation, because there is no procedure. You now have a secretary who is very conversant on planning and zoning issues. She could easily help you with the help of the building department come up with a process and procedure that you can adopt and everybody can follow and the poor applicants aren't out there stuck. Right. Amen. Okay, amen. So, <laughs> can I make a motion that I mean, let me think about what the motion is going to be. Um, <laughs> would you work with her? That, who else would like to work on a, pol a procedure? I would be willing to work on a procedure. Okay. Dave? I won't be here. Okay. I've got, okay. I've got two months. I'll, I'll uh, help where I can. Okay, so I move that this ad hoc um, committee of Rob, Egan, Vicki Danskin, and Alan Rocco work with our current secretary to write up a procedure for how an application should proceed so that it is clear to both applicants and the board how the application has moved. And arrived at the well, desk. I think I think maybe first I should, um, or one of the enforcement officers, myself or Mark, should review the code to oh. ensure that there isn't a, a legal Let's put him on the set, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, procedure that's in the zoning code that for some reason, um, you know, for past procedure has not been the procedure; it's just been overlooked. Mm -hmm. If there's something that's specific in the local law and says that these three steps need to be followed, then those three steps really need to be followed legally, I would say, per the village code. If those don't exist, then we can, you know, we can come up with some policies, that are more procedure, you know, that would assist, you know, everyone all around. Okay, you know? That's a great I will amend my motion to both put Rich on the committee and to ask him to first look into the current legal requirements. And Is there a second to that to most of form? A long time ago, and I turned all that stuff into the building department. We may have to do it again. I think I found my copies. Yes! Okay. But you've got somebody who is very conversant that can right. just whip that out for you. And it's something that would need to be discussed with the building department. The building yes, they want a new form broken. They talked about that four a new months form ago. form for applicants? 
Yes. yes. Once the procedure is established. And the building department has, has to go hand in hand. Okay. Oh, the form was already made. Apparently, Vicki. No, Vicki, okay. wait, we had a meeting, I think. Well, there's, there's still a motion. There's still a motion on the floor. Yeah, okay, floor, I made my motion. It, it needs to be seconded. Second. Is there discussion on this motion? Wait, who said that? Wait, yeah. uh, I have a comment, but not no, on this motion. I'll say something. Voting. Did anybody ready to it? vote? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed like some? Okay. I don't think we're ever those minutes. Okay. Uh, just as a note uh, about that, how you might format it, I'd say perhaps don't make it that you need a denial of an application, but rather that the building department always be copied on various applications. That way they always see it. But th that seems like an odd rigmarole that you, you know you're going to be denied, you have to get denied. Um, well, it's not as friendly as other. Right. I, I'm not <laughs> intent on the denial, but mm -hmm. I do value their expertise. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I would like yeah, to so it may know just what's going on. These were these well. process oh, questions that they've been oh, talking yeah, about for I, the I, last half year. To, no, 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 but I wasn't 100% aware of everything that was going but, on. No, right. it's been a year, Sally, because that's when I All right, that's my operation. That's even I said the other thing I well, I thought you were when, when he said he was talking with Holly about it. Hey, we have a little else. order here, please. Thank you. Is there anything else to come before this board tonight? Well, I just had a question. Um, Dave motioned to amend the ZBA application. Uh, I'm wondering if that, if we want to bring that up or if we're not doing do, that do we have to do we have to make a motion that they have to come back or is that just a that, no we don't need a motion for just them to need a revised site plan of uh, you wouldn't know they just amend it right now well now you're going to have to deal with you're going to have to deal with all of what we've been talking no no Fair what you're asking for is could you just amend this right now you're wrong no right well frequently uh, designs are modified by Discussions with well, if you have to, if, if you have to give it all to the building inspector anyway, I would assume you would just replace that with this and change the wording in your thing and give it to the building right. inspector. Or the way that you approve it is just you know we approve theoretically an 18 foot, 18 foot as yeah. opposed to a 25 foot. Yeah. Uh, front yeah, but if this is going to go over to the Ulster County Planning Board, I think it would be better if it went with. Oh, yeah. This as opposed yeah. to yeah, the 25 yeah. foot request. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's that's all I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, just I mean, change just change the stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see Carl on a question, question of process. Mm -hmm. Right now, if there is not some understanding or a change or an amendment to their application, the legal notice will be as they applied, and that's a 25-foot variance, and that's not what they're asking for. That's what we have on file. Isn't that right, Brogan? All right, so what do they have to do, just reapply? Could they send uh, some kind of written communication saying that they're amending the application? I don't think they need to reapply. They just need to amend just send something in writing, the amending the application and asking yeah. that this map yeah. be substituted or added that seems to. seems very reasonable. Is it, can, is that <laughs> Once in a while. <laughs> is that something they can just do right now with one of the copies and give it to Brogan? Yeah, you can give me a copy and then when we send it to the Ulster County Planning Board. There's your copy. <laughs> right, but just give her something signed saying that you. If you, you want to just change it on a copy here, just go and change it on here for the 18. Just, uh, it, it, it sounds like this is going to modify, and we don't have to actually try to rewrite the original. No, we just, just have to. Yeah. Why don't you take. You need mine. Here we go. Circle it. Mm -hmm. Say, mm -hmm. amended now sure requesting feet, and then initial it and send it on. Give it back. Relevant. Yes. Okay. That's what that's what for uh, the shape. I'm wondering if the uh, yeah, this, this, county this, planning this, board this, cares okay. about the other two my previous <laughs> variants <laughs> for their information. Thank you. Lots of more ideas. What what what's that? Yeah. Uh, the, the two other variances that you got and you I'm built out, yep. I'm wondering if they would need to be informed about that. 
just for their information. Put it oh, the Alter County one. Oh. From 25 yeah. feet to 18 feet, and put the date on it. And sign, yeah. Or it should go for whoever initial and put the with date those. where you wrote that. Oh. And initial it for sign it, right? Uh, yeah. No, 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 they're not persnickety at the Ulster County Planning Board, are they? I don't think I can because I wasn't at the meeting. Again, she was. Yeah. Carl, should we deal with the with the um, with the minutes? Approval of the minutes. Yes, we should. Okay. So I could I could. Uh, I was not there, right? Oh, I was there. Oh, I was. I remember this. Okay, I can move it. Did you put on your C attached new map or something like that? Are you so moving the adoption of the minutes? She said she's moving. I'll move the adoption of the minutes. You can second. Our secretary's business. She crosses the minute 18 too. Yeah, if there's another one. There's a motion. And I'll yeah, but Rogan didn't hear it. You're going to say it again. We're waiting for her. Okay. Yeah. I move we approve the minutes. Right. You move? Okay. Yes. Second. It should be Is there any discussion Second. about approval of a minute? No. Yes. No. No. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Minutes are approved. Now move to adjourn. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> Is everybody ready for a motion for adjournment? We're all ready. Yes, <laughs> go to it, Becky. I move that we adjourn. No, we've got one more thing to do. We just approved the minutes. Yeah, I make a motion that we adopt uh, the draft zoning board of appeals meetings of uh, December 10th. That's what we just did. We just did that. We just, huh? <laughs> you just voted on it. I thought we were, no, I thought we were voting on the other motion. We never no. voted on the other motion. No, we did. All right. All right. We don't need to. So we're OK. okay. So we have a motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. Go to a planning board next. We, we're already doing that. Second day. Right? Second. Correct? We're proceeding to. All in favor? <laughs> All in favor of adjourning. Yes. Aye. Aye. Anybody who says no. Rob can say no because he just loves it so much he wants it to never end. Okay.